Hi, this is Professor Wellman. I am recording this video so that you can be introduced to how to use the library to use the um, databases. So I first will log in. I'm going to put this on pause. Okay, now I've logged in and I'm going to show you how to go to the databases that you're going to need. So we go up here to databases where I've highlighted in green. There are many databases and the two that are used for psychology programs are EBSCOhost and ProQuest. Let's go through EBSCOhost. When you're in EBSCOhost, you're going to choose databases. So we're going to go to the psychology database called Psych Articles. And to make it quick, I'll go to P, and there is Psych Articles. And I'm going to click on Psych Articles. So there are a couple of things you're going to be researching. Let's go to the one that's called the California Psychological Inventory. Then you can select a, a field. I'm going to select a subject and see what happens. Then I'm going to go into the um, limiters. Now the limiters, you don't want to have everything that's been published. You want to go to something that has the full text. You want a scholarly peer-reviewed journal. And the rest I'm going to leave. So I'll use that and go into search. Now I have 66 peer-reviewed journals and it shows here in the limiters, full text and scholarly peer-reviewed. It also shows here full text, scholarly peer-reviewed and exclude book reviews. I recommend excluding book reviews. So that took away three of the uh, articles. So here we have artic a list of articles that you can use, and these are sorted by relevance. You can also sort by date, author, source, the source meaning the um, journal. What's nice about this is you can go here to find the um, how you're going to cite it. You would go to uh, the detailed record here. Once you're in here, you look for something that shows you how to cite it. So I go there to the site. This has opened up a list of variations of uh, formats. The APA is the American Psychological Association. You can click and copy this and paste it into a Word document. This will work just as well with a Google Doc. And this is correctly formatted. So that was in uh, psych articles. If I wanted to use, so ProQuest it doesn't give me the different databases to choose from but they're already here. You have 10 databases it's going to search through. This is an advanced search. So again I'll put California psychology inventory and it is very nicely pops up right there. Instead of anywhere I'm going to ask for subject. Then I'm going to check full text peer-reviewed scholarly journals and let's see if it has excluding it does not have excluding uh, book reviews. 
and I'm not a, I'm not going to um, look up the dates, but I could. I could say um, in the last three years, for example, if anything's been published on it. But right now I'm going to just put all dates. I click search. And this found zero results. So I might go back to the other database. And that's how I would um, do this. So I'm going to clear my startup disk. So that is hopefully very helpful to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be glad to put up another video. And happy researching.